I shoved the hamster up my ass. My brother ate my hamster? <laughs> my friend of my- <laughs> Having a hamster as a pet could be one of the best things. It could be either really good, you have a little, little ball, little fluffy ball running around a little cage. You gotta feed it, treat it like a little pet, and you know, it's all cool. But they always die very tragically. And I asked you guys on Instagram to tell me your tragic hamster death stories. And I'm going to review them. Because you guys have DM'd me hundreds of these hamster death stories. So without further ado, let's look at some of these. First DM. Yeah. My <laughs> my hamster shat its organs out. That's <laughs> how do you wake up to that? You wake up and you're like, hey, I can't wait to check on my little fluffy. What did you feed your hamster? I burned mine. How? Ooh, this one's long. Okay, I was in the car ride as a child, and well, me and my hamster were chilling. And my dumbass decided to go ahead and open the window and oh, poor little Jimmy turned into a flying squirrel and I never saw him again. <laughs> Why are you in the car with your hamster? <laughs> I can just imagine. It's a little Jimmy, you know, we're all cool. Oh, it's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. I'm gonna open the window real quick. <laughs> Jimmy! I was young and a stupid child. I thought I was so responsible, so I bought a hamster. I named it Hammy. And, and that motherfucker got obese because I was too lazy to get him a gyro ball or whatever it's called. Then it died of a heat stroke because I was cleaning something and I left him in his cage covered with a rag under the scorching sun and it had died. Man, either A, hamsters are just weak as fuck or B, y'all need to be better parents. I, I had my fair share of dead animals growing up. My dad owns a pet store, so literally I would have a new pet anytime an old pet died. Pretty much, I went through reptiles, I went through fish, I went through a lot, and I never had a hamster. I did, however, have a ferret. You know, like those little long, snaky, little fucking zebras looking. One day, he just disappeared. I don't know. Oh, oh, one time I had a chicken, a pet chicken. I had a pet chicken. I named him Bailey. One day I went to go to Costco. Usually I keep the I keep the chicken in the cage, but I'm like, I'm just gonna go to Costco and then come back. I'm probably, it's probably not gonna get eaten by a fucking crow. I came home and it got eaten by a fucking crow. Rest in peace, Bailey. I had a hamster couple when I was like 11. They had eight babies. Your hamsters be fucking. The mom hamster ate half and the half dried to death because it was summer. Dried? And later the dad hamster ate the mom hamster and escaped the cage never found again. <laughs> I have so many questions. One, how the fuck your hamsters be fucking and having eight babies? Two, <sighs> the mom ate the children? What does hamster cum look like? No, 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 I don't want to know. I don't want to know. How do they reproduce? Like, how do hamsters have sex? There's gotta be some hamster cum. But doesn't that mean hamsters have balls too? Do hamsters have balls? Do hamsters have testicles? Bro, that is the biggest. Oh my god! Dude, the testicle to body ratio. Imagine if that was scaled to like a human, bro. My balls would be this fucking big, bro. I shoved the hamster up my ass and suffocated. I don't want to believe that. I don't want to. I don't. I simply. Sorry if my English is bad. Anyways, I had two hamsters. They were siblings. And one day, one escaped from the terrarium. We found him several days later. He eaten some plastic shit. That night, the hamster passed away. And his siblings eaten his face and died due to plastic shit poisoning. <laughs> One, I think your English is great. Two, the fact that it says eaten instead of eight makes the story ten times better. Eaten his face? Oh my gosh, that's so good. That's so good. So, I had this hamster named Hammy. So creative. Anyways, we had a rat infestation at the time. My grandparents would put rap traps everywhere, like absolutely everywhere. Then one day, Hammy chewed at the bottom corner of the cage and snuck out. My grandma found Hammy in the rat trap, but she never told me until this year. 
hammy. You gotta be a strong motherfucker to chew the bottom of your cage and escape. Also, how would you break that news to your granddaughter? Hey, uh, you know that hamster that you loved and suddenly disappeared? Yeah, Grandma, what happened? You know how we had rats roaming around the house and we had like a bunch of rat traps laying around? Yeah? Well, let's just say w one of them wasn't a rat. Oh. Yeah. That motherfucker Hammy died. Like, hella died. Like, that motherfucker gone. My brother ate my hamster? What is this? What is this? Some filthy Frank episode? I want to know how your brother admitted to you that he did that too. Hey, you know, you know our hamster? Yeah. I don't know where he went. I think he, I think he ran away. No, I ate him. <laughs> huh? I, I, I think, I think I'm, I think I'm reading this wrong. Hold up. <clears throat> I, I fucked it. My friend of my, my <laughs> a friend of mine accidentally vacuumed it. Tragic. She's still traumatized. I can't imagine the noise that it made with a fucking hamster sucking into a vacuum. Just. <laughs> All right. So I never had a hamster, but guinea pigs, and one of them died because my little brother gave him a hug and he broke his ribs. <laughs> If I ever have a little kid, like a little boy, and I had a pet hamster, I will, I will make sure that this motherfucking cage has a lock a, a, in a safe with barbed wire surrounding it. Cause I don't know what y'all with, what, what's wrong with y'all little brothers, but they be eating hamsters. They be squeezing guinea pigs until they crack. Bro, my mom bought me a hamster when I was a kid and I hugged it so hard, it choked to death. And then, an audio message is attached. Let's Actually, um, it might not be like a hamster, but I had two bunnies and my mom um, got tired of them, so she actually gave them away to a restaurant. That's what she told me when I was like 12. Isn't that so crazy? Your mom gave away your bunnies to a restaurant? I think this is a good time to end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, like the video. If you're new here, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.